Hey, this is Florian, OnlineTennisInstruction.com. In today's video, I want to take a look once again at Roger Federer's forehand, possibly the greatest shot in the history of the game. Roger just won the 2015 Brisbane International Tournament, and he is playing some of the best tennis of his career. This past year, he made some significant changes to his game with his uh, coach, Stefan Edberg. He comes to the net a lot more, and he hits a lot more over his backhand, so a lot more topspin backhands and less slice backhands. His game, however, is still built around this phenomenal forehand and setting up this forehand. One of the key differences between Roger's forehand and many of the other top forehands in the world is that Roger can still accelerate and control the ball extremely well in defensive situations and he can take the ball extremely early, put time pressure on opponents and once again in these situations still accelerate and control his forehand. So what's the secret that allows him to hit the ball so hard and control the ball so well in these defensive situations as well as when he's taking the ball very early? Roger has a very short and compact arm motion on his forehand. So this motion takes very little time and yet Roger uses the most important muscles in order to accelerate the racket in a very efficient manner. Here's a typical situation where Roger manages to take a ball very early, put a lot of pressure on his opponent that way, and still accelerate the racket in order to hit a big forehand. Let's take a closer look at this in slow motion. Roger steps in with his left foot to take the ball early, and right here you can see that he keeps his motion very short. His hitting arm is just below shoulder level, and the hand and racket remain on the right side of his body as we can see here with the green circle. Players with larger backswings often take the racket and the hitting hand behind the body and up too high, approximately where you can see the red circle now. If you have that large kind of a backswing, it becomes very difficult to take balls early and also to generate power and control the ball when you're in defensive situations under time pressure. So make sure you have a short compact motion on your forehand and you don't take a large backswing. This makes it a lot easier to hit clean shots and you can still generate a lot of power on your forehand. One of the best ways to assure you have a short compact motion is to take a video of yourself and then compare it to what you saw here on the video. Thank you for watching this video. To watch all of our free videos, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel below.